Hey everyone and welcome to another hiking video. Today we're walking the three the first three to four sectors of St. Charles River Park in preparation for the upcoming 30 kilometer hike which will cover all of the sectors here in Quebec City. Let's go. The park runs along Quebec City by creating a footpath from the old port to St. Charles Lake. This section covers the majority of downtown Quebec. A six kilometer trail that starts near the port and is split between two easy parallel paths. And the whole park has other trails ranging from easy to moderate in terms of difficulty. So essentially there are two sides we can walk on at the beginning, connected via small bridges. And there's the southern side and the northern side. So at first we began from the northern side, then we passed to the other one, we continued and then we got blocked by enormous route of mud and just water all over. And I think it's one of those sections that, that are not well taken care of. So uh, for, the, for the long hike, I think we're going for the uh, northern side of the, of the trail. <laughs> All right, today is the big day. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to start at the very beginning of the trail, but I was lucky enough to start at the 6.5. So let's hope I can make it all the way to 30. And uh, if I don't, then that's okay. At least it would be a good experience for me to explore Quebec City. And at the same time, it will be a very good challenge for me. And starting from this point, it got a lot calmer since I was moving away from construction sites and highways. I also learned that people enjoy it more thanks to the many water activities they can do from swimming to kayaking. I'd say the two main difficulties of this trail is one, the long distance that should be covered in one day and two, the heat wave that's coming in this afternoon. So uh, let's hope for the best. I'm also meeting up with some of my friends along the way, so this should get a lot more fun. The plan was for them to walk with me 10 kilometers before I continue. And this gave me the chance to take a break and slow down a bit. What's interesting about this park as well are the exits that can be used to get out of the trail and either have a car waiting or take the bus back. In my case, I split a cap with my friend at the end.
So I just met up with my friends and we're on our way to Kabir Kuba waterfall uh, sector where we're going to meet another friend of ours. We're going strong. It's, uh, it's getting hotter and hotter by the second. But we're also protected uh, inside the forest, so that's a good thing. I still have 20 minutes left, approximately, to arrive um, to the false sector. I'm getting a bit tired, but it's worth it though. I'm walking by the river. The beauty of the landscapes around me is incredible. Luckily, I brought only my 5 liter backpack, which had all the essentials needed and allowed me to hike lightweight. Finally, my friend Yannick is here joining me on this last uh, 10 kilometers. Uh, we're heading all the way. That's our goal and we're going to finish it. So we're, uh, we're keeping it strong. Overall, the hike was moderate. The long distance made up for the lack of mountain altitude. A 26 km hike that took 8.5 hours to complete gave me the confidence I need to take on bigger challenges in the future. So behind me is the end of the trail. As you can see, the beautiful lake of St. Charles. And over here is my good friend Yannick. It's been a beautiful experience. Thank you guys for joining me. Over here is the kilometer number 32 there. I'm going there to sign my name and that's a wrap.